Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you why you cannot connect to your MySQL database remotely. And I'm also going to show you what the problem is and how to fix it. I've actually had this problem yesterday and I thought it's a good idea to share it with others as well. Hopefully it will help you. It took me about 40 minutes to figure it out, so hopefully this 5 minutes video will be of great help. So let's try to connect. I've got all the right credentials here. I've got the host IP, I've got the username, I've got the password and the database name. Connect. Ooh, you can't connect because access was denied. So let's just see why is this happening. For, before you do anything, you should double check your password and the username and the database name. These are the first things you should look at. Make sure they are all right. If you're 100% sure that everything's all right there, then you might have to go to cPanel. And let me show you the first thing you should do is go, you can, you can see I'm already logged into an account. It's a website that sits there and is doing nothing so I can do some tests on it. You can just go to Remote MySQL and you have to add your ID as an access host. CPanel, as a default, will not allow you to access the database from an external IP address. This is a server IP address, but there's no other IP. So let's just add my IP address there. And let's see what happens. Let's try again. Let's try and connect now. Success. That's all. That's all you have to do. You have to make sure you add your own IP address to the actual access host. Now there's another thing that can happen. Um, and sometimes, if especially if you reset the server, even if you have your IP address here, it might not work because you would have to go to another place in WHM if you have access to it. If, if you manage your own server, then you might have access. If not, then you would have to ask your host to do this. So just type in MySQL here, and then go to additional MySQL access hosts. And you have to add this IP address here. And then you save it, then you have to go back again and make sure you apply this setting to all the accounts, all the cPanel accounts in um, on your server. So click here and then it's going to apply and we're all ready to go. And this was it for today. I hope this video was helpful and hope to see you next time. Bye bye.